Hello guys and welcome to this special update video. Um, this is literally only about three hours since the last time I made a video. And uh, lo and behold, look at what we got here. Tropical Depression number one. It has finally formed the closed circulation that it, the uh, National Hurricane Center was waiting for. So, it, uh, it, I think since it's so close to land, I think we're going to be getting updates every like three hours. I could be wrong on that. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and here's the details as of 5 p.m. Maximum sustained winds are 30 knots or equivalent to 35 miles per hour. The minimal central pressure is 1,008 millibars and dropping. Located at 28.4 north, 78.6 west. The movement is north northeast at 11 knots, or equivalent to 13 miles an hour. All right, as you can see here, a tropical depression forms off the coast of East Central Florida. Tropical storm watches issued for a portion of the North Carolina coast. So let's take a look at the wind speed probabilities here. As you can see, the outer the outer banks have about a 50% chance of getting tropical storm force winds within the next, I guess this is a five days, but you, you know that's probably gonna be like two days. Um, and then we got uh, anywhere from between zero and 30% elsewhere in the North Carolina, so that's pretty low. I would not be surprised if this changes though, because the trends are, the trends are moving west, moving west. So this this is probably going to change in due time. Let's see the arrival of winds. All right, so uh, North Carolina should be feeling these winds. Someone's starting somewhere after 2 p.m. tomorrow, because that's where the 2 p.m. line is, right? Starting right at the North Carolina, South Carolina border. So uh, that's when uh, North Carolina is going to fill it. And then you got all these other states in the cone of wind speed probabilities. So this is going to get pretty interesting. You got Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts even. That could all probably see action from this system. Let's take a look at the cone of uncertainty. As you can see, this is where it's at right here. And it's, it's going to probably be a tropical storm before midnight tonight. I'm pretty sure of that. The way it's increasingly developing. And, uh, you know, this is the closest approach right here to North Carolina. It's like 2 p.m. Monday. And then. The National Hurricane Center has this going out to sea. Not going anywhere up here. Even though the GFS shows it, the National Hurricane Center is like, nope, we're going to go out to sea. Like, there is some potential for a land fall in North Carolina since it's in the cone of uncertainty. But, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at key messages. See what's going on with that there. Alright, here is the key messages for tropical depression number one. A tropical storm watch has been issued for, por for a portion of the North Carolina coast. Tropical storm force winds and heavy rains are possible there on Monday. Dangerous coastal surf conditions and rip currents are expected to spread northward from Florida to the mid-Atlantic states during the next few days. See products from your local National Weather Service forecast office for more details. So it's, it's getting pretty interesting out here. Uh, we're going to take a look at the public advisory real quick. I'm not going to read through the whole thing. Or maybe I might. I don't, no, probably not. So uh, this is this is where, you know, this paragraph you know, shows tells you where it is. And uh, where how, how it's moving, you know. And uh, this little thing right here shows you how strong it is and then the surface pressure is right here now here is your hazards 
tropical storm conditions are possible within the watch area on Monday. Rainfall. Depression is expected to produce additional rain accumulations of 1 to 2 inches over the central and northwest Bahamas, and generally less than 1 inch over South Florida through tonight. The depression is also expected to produce total rain accumulations of 1 to 2 inches over coastal North Carolina Sunday night into Monday. Here's surfs. Swells generated by the depression are affected portions of east coast of central and northern Florida. These swells are expected to spread northward during the next few days and could cause life-threatening surf and recurrent conditions across much of the U.S. Southeast and mid-Atlantic coast. Please consult products from your local weather office. See, this is the uh, this is the hazards. So, I think this is gonna change too. Cause I think I think the National Hurricane Center is like lowballing this a little bit. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you think the National Hurricane Center is lowballing this a little bit. And uh, okay, yeah, I was right. We're gonna begin intermediate advisories every three hours. So. Maybe I might have another video or two tonight, depending on what's going on. Alright, let's take a look at the forecast discussion real quick before we take a look at the visible satellite to end this update up. I'm not going to read all of this, but uh, we'll go down the key messages here. A tropical storm watch has been issued for a portion of the North Carolina coast. Tropical storm force winds and heavy rains are possible there on Monday. Okay, you never mind. I already wrote that in the key messages there. All right, <laughs> that's all right. This is uh, this is where it's gonna be going over the course of the next 120 hours. So, the National Hurricane Center has this going at 60 mile per hours, at 60 hours and 72 hours before it becomes post-tropical or extra-tropical before dissipating at the 120 hour mark. So, yeah, I think this might get a little bit stronger. I'm, I'm, my personal estimation is I think it's gonna be like a 70 mile per hour storm, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys' prediction is down below and we'll see what happens with it. All right, before I go, let's take a look at the satellite here. As you can just see, it is definitely way better organized than it was with my update at around 3 o'clock. You can see the convection is starting to really blow up near in the near and in the center of circulation. And you can see the outflow now. The outflow is really, really looking good. We got outflow this way. We got outflow that way. You got the classic S, S shape. This is not a subtropical depression. This is a tropical depression because you got that classic S look to it. And uh, yeah, that, this is gonna really blow up overnight. That is my opinion. And uh, I wanna thank you guys for drop, dropping by for this video and I will do another update sometime tonight. All right, you take care.